so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in this video I am so excited to share with you guys this little project that my husband and I did in like two to three days and it was honestly so much fun to do we decided to bring our bedroom from upstairs we moved it to the room from downstairs I'll give you a quick little backstory as to why we made that decision so we live in a house and the upstairs room is like the attic but it's a livable attic in it so there's two rooms in there and we chose one of the rooms to be our bedroom the only thing is because it's an attic there's not much ventilation in there so when it's summertime it gets really really hot and when it's winter time it gets freezing cold so in the summertime obviously you can put an AC on and everything is perfectly fine but the only thing is because we installed an AC we were not able to open the window anymore because it's a small window a small room so well it's actually not that small because I was able to fit way more stuff in there than I was in this room now but either way the ceilings were low so the window was much smaller and we put an AC there and that kind of bit us in the butt because in the winter time when we would go to bed it was freezing cold so we obviously would turn on the heater and then in the mornings we will wake up drenched in sweat because it got too hot we have to sleep with the doors closed because the dogs will go out and wander around and start peeing and pooping everywhere they don't sleep in a crate we don't crate train them I just don't like that whole crate train thing so they sleep with us in our room and so there was no air circulation much because we couldn't really open the window I mean it was fine until we got Mio now Mio is obviously a puppy he's only three months he just turned four months old a couple days ago so he's still a little baby and he does poop at night Milo doesn't poop at night anymore he poops in the night nighttime and in the morning but in the middle of the night he doesn't poop anymore but Mio does and the reason I'm mentioning that is because when he would poop at night homeboys poop really stinks and then you just throw in heat in there and no windows that can open that's it you're dead like it's just horrible so I was starting to get a lot of headaches and I wasn't I didn't really know where it was coming from and one day we slept outside of the room and I kid you not I have the best sleep ever and so I put two and two together and I was like oh my god like we're literally like inhaling so much heat and the poop it was just not a good situation you guys and so I just randomly got this spark and I got this spontaneous idea to bring our bedroom back downstairs which is how I had it originally when I first moved in but that room was originally saved for my husband for his man cave but as you guys will see in the clips he didn't really use it he didn't really turn it into a man cave it wasn't really a functional space in my opinion I always told him it was like a waste of space because it was more of like a, a throw it all room you know it was like a laundry room and so now that we were able to make that change he has a functional man cave which is amazing so this change was definitely necessary for the both of us and so I decided to bring you guys along and record the process and it was so much fun to do honestly like I am like in love I literally feel like I wake up in a hotel and it sounds so dramatic but just having windows being able to open the windows and just the way the air feels is so much different I can't believe we waited so long to do this but nonetheless I'm so glad with how everything turned out so I did bring you guys along with me as much as I could I wanted to give you guys uh a behind the scenes of kind of what my thought process looks like when we're creating a room or switching up a room or just you know getting inspiration and what that looked like yeah I hope that kind of covers everything if you guys have questions of course leave them down below I will answer them if you guys have any questions but my husband is okay he was totally obviously in agreement. I wouldn't do anything behind his back I wouldn't do anything that he doesn't support so this was a mutual decision and he's totally fine with his man cave being upstairs if anything it's more cozier we obviously sleep in the room overnight and we want to be comfortable while he's gaming and stuff like that you just turn the heater on and it's not a big deal because the dogs are not going to be in there pooping and stuff like that so not a big deal hubby's okay he enjoys it he likes it I'm excited to bring you guys along so you guys could see the transformation we did and stay to the very end because I'm going to show you guys what the room looks like as of today and yeah so let's go ahead and take it back to the hot mess that you guys are about to see this is why I never show this room in the vlog so y'all ready to see it all right I warned you it's a mess today is the day that we tackle this room. We're turning this room back into our bedroom. So, you have a lot to do because this is all lovely. It's all lovely. Well, is this progress or what? My goodness. I didn't realize how big this room was. I'm going to vacuum, sweep, mop, and swap out the rugs for a new one. Okay, so here is the room progress. 
this and I'm so excited. Obviously, we just have to like get rid of that. But I got this rug from Ruggable and I'm completely obsessed. I want to get another one for the living room. This one was actually for the living room, but it just fits this room's vibe so much more. So we're going to use it for this room. We're going to go bring our bed down now. I have to disassemble it so we can bring it down. We brought the couch down. <laughs> that was, oh my God, such a task. I feel like I broke my back in the process, <laughs> but we got it down. We are not going to keep these yellow curtains. Absolutely not. We're just going to get blinds because I think it's going to look much cleaner. We're going to probably get the plant to put in the corner. I still don't know how we're going to put everything. I'm just going to bring the big objects in this room and then we will move it around to see which way fits best. But the TV stand is here. We're actually thinking of getting a bigger TV or maybe swapping it out for the other one. I want to mount it, but these walls are not that strong. So we have to figure that out. It would be better to have like the TV stand across the couch. I don't know. We're still trying to figure out what's going to happen, but this is the room so far. We mop, sweep and everything. And we have a new rug. I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited to sleep here tonight. You guys have no idea i just can't wait but i do think that we will either mount it or get something to put on these walls to make it more decorative and stuff we will be going to ikea tomorrow to get the blinds so we'll see what i can get maybe like some kind of floating shelves that were really cute i love floating shelves they're so beautiful so we will see what is left but this is the progress so far i'm gonna bring the bed in here and start doing it and then we'll see what space we have left to work with because we do have a queen size bed and this is a pretty big couch so we'll see what ends up happening so see you guys once the bed is here okay so here is a little room update we finally got the bed down here and so we originally had the couch here but it was gonna be too cluttered this room is actually not that big and the layout is different from upstairs right so <laughs> me and my genius self one of the couches had like a really weird stain and so I thought of a genius idea and turning this couch into an accent chair instead so i am basically going to just be adding this chair to here only thing is i need to drill in these things because this is what was attached to the other part of the couch and i'm going to turn it into a chair and it's probably going to go in this corner over here or in this corner i actually don't know where <laughs> it's going to go just yet but my dad's going to come over to bring his drill so that i can do it because our drill is not that strong and they're actually both dead because we use it so much to undo and redo all these things so that's charging and i'm so excited because i was like this room needs an accent chair we can't have a couch it needs an accent chair and i was like i mean my husband doesn't want this couch and it was actually free so i was like hmm might as well just turn it into an accent chair and just keep the piece that was nice so i'm so excited so that's what we're gonna do and yeah in the meantime we're gonna bring the mattress down i'll go making the bed and i'm obsessed with this rug like completely obsessed i love it so so much so here's a little room update it's about 10 o'clock right now 10 30. we started this at like five ish so yeah it's been a while <laughs> it's been a minute already but we are getting it done okay guys so it is the next day and this is our bedroom. This was our bedroom. I cannot believe how much how much stuff we were able to fit in here. Only thing is that the ceilings are obviously low because this is an attic. So this is gonna be the man cave, which I'm very excited to. And so all we have left to do is take out this. I'll do all that. We're gonna start mopping and sweeping and bringing in the other stuff. But we did a lot of progress yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys the room downstairs. But we just have to clear out everything because every other room in the house now is a hot mess. So we're gonna organize everything, put everything in here nicely. And yeah, so that is a little update so far. I'm gonna take those two things down and I'm gonna put it by our nightstands because they're so cute and they'll match the aesthetic from downstairs. This floating shelf, I don't know, maybe we'll keep it here for him to put some stuff. Okay guys, I have to give you a little house update so you guys can see. <laughs> how bad this house looks so look at the some of the stuff that's going upstairs well most of this is actually going upstairs dirty laundry that we had this is the extra chair that we're not going to be using for the couch more dirty laundry more dirty laundry because you guys saw how much clothes was there all this stuff we got to figure out a lot of this is going either upstairs or we're decluttering it so yes this is the lovely mess that we have here in the hallway and then here is the room the boys are both in timeout they're both in trouble because they both are taking 
advantage of the mess and they're peeing everywhere and it's disgusting because we just keep finding random piles of piss. You can probably see some dried up there. So we have to clean and keep them contained until we finish because if not, the house is going to stink and it's going to be disgusting and it's driving me crazy. Milo's not used to being in the cage with Mia so he's freaking out right now but he's in time out because he did pee on my brand new rug. The audacity. He literally peed. Anytime this thing is out, I don't know why, he pees on the wood leg. And so there was a huge pile of piss. Thankfully, this literally always comes to the rescue. If you guys have dogs that pee anywhere, like your fabric or anything, this literally always works and it makes it literally brand new. So I always have that. And that saved the day. I didn't notice it. He just went back to go sniff it because this rug has a little bit of yellow to it. So I would never been able to tell. But he went back to go sniff it. And I'm like, hmm, this looks a little weird. And so I went and I sniffed it and he had pee there and I actually think I can spray some more because I still see like a little ring but the dogs stayed here Mio sleep slept here Milo slept with us but they're not gonna be sleeping with us anymore because now we slept with the door open and so that's why Milo went to pee and we've we're, li we're literally finding little spots of piss everywhere so it's actually really disgusting anyways they're here for now and this is what everything is looking like so far I'm very very excited I think today we're gonna be able to finish it um, I ordered a little ladder shelf to go here so it's gonna be like a little reading nook it's gonna be super cute and then we put up the gold mirror right over here curtain lights which make everything look so nice and dreamy especially at nighttime so beautiful let me move over here and then on this wall this is the two night dance that we had upstairs our TV stand and we just brought out the bigger TV up here I'm thinking of doing floating shelves I think maybe one over here one over here or just like one and two I don't know we're gonna figure it out but I have a vision for this wall and I hope it turns out nice so we're gonna be probably getting that today or sometime this week and then here is just gonna be the long uh, le it's a ladder shelf and then I'm thinking of putting like a round mirror here or something I don't know what to do with this wall yet we will figure out once everything is done but I love this chair <gasps> I mean it's a couch but it works the couch is gonna be too big for the space so it literally ended up working out perfectly and I'm so excited about it <laughs> That's a little room update. I'll keep you guys posted on anything else that we do. Oh my god, how could I forget? This was the last little project that we did last night and I put our wedding photo, no, our proposal engagement. Oh my god, our engagement photos on this thing right here with the little pompous grass and stuff. So I think that looks really, really nice. For this, I'm thinking of either leaving it like this or getting like one of those bamboo kind of boho looking things that I have in the other rooms that I think it's really nice, but I don't want all the rooms to be the same. So I don't know. But this room is definitely boho vibes. I got new pillow cover for these pillows because I've had the same setup for a while already and I want to switch it up so I ordered some covers off of Amazon a new throw blanket which I'm very excited about and I think I did pick out a different tray I'm not sure yet but lots of fun things happening in this room I'm so excited I don't know if I'm gonna keep the fall leaves because obviously it's not fall anymore but I still like how they look so I literally had the best night sleep yesterday you guys have no idea there was so much air so much circulation and we woke up with a lot of natural lighting we're also gonna go get some blinds because I don't want to do curtains and yeah that's the update of the room and I'm so excited look at them Mio went to bed probably yes there he is you want to tell them what you did you want to tell them what you did now that we're cleaning I was able to collect a lot of the candles that I had that I didn't even realize I had and I got this little divider from home good or Marshall's one of those but it was like four dollars and you basically put it in your pantry you can for more storage space but it fit perfectly in this little cube thing so that I could hold more candles because we have a lot and I just put them here it doesn't obviously match everything else but this is where I light my daily candles most of the time and now in the bedroom I'll be doing that so little up. man cave is starting to come along we got the rug in here we got his bureau in here he has that because of the draft but we're gonna take that off he's bringing in the big pieces now so we can start furnishing everything and clearing up the space i'm so excited so look how nice this yeah. looks over I'm here sure no pee pee here okay none of you pee pee here no more no more okay so this is where the shelf ended up working out so this is obviously the attic this upstairs part is the attic it's just a really big attic so we had turned this into the bedroom but 
it's just it gets really clogged in here like it gets really cold we have a heater in the summer it gets really hot but the mixture of both just has us like stuffy and stuff so to sleep it's not the best idea and Mio still poops at night so when he poops in the middle of the night and it smells with the heat it's just y'all it's a hot mess so it was just we were not getting good sleep so that's why we decided to make the change and my husband games a lot but not 10 hours or 8 hours like as much time as we sleep so this shelf is gonna go here super cute he's getting his suit rack which I think will look nice over here we're just placing the big items first and then we'll be able to move things around as kind of furnish everything but this is what it's looking like so far that's not gonna go there that was from the old setup look at these two what are you doing are you fighting for the toy you fighting for the toy? Wow. <laughs> Here's a little update. Um, my husband already took down two bags, but we're donating literally three huge, no, five. This is what the hallway is looking like. All of this is going out. Trash. Gotta find a home for these things. Milo's looking out because he's just Milo. But... Thankfully, this room is completely emptied out. It's back to its normal self, which feels so nice. So we just have to worry about, come here, Milo, come here, Papa, let's go. And then here's a living room update. Not that bad. We got all the stuff, majority of the stuff upstairs, and we decluttered a lot of stuff. His big furnitures and stuff went upstairs, which is nice. <sighs> so we're just focusing on taking out all the trash. We're going to run to Ikea before they close, and then we'll come back, put all the Ikea stuff together, and then finish cleaning up the house, and then I'm done. And then I can sit down and talk to you guys, do like an intro stuff, because you guys haven't seen me this whole time, because I look crazy, and I don't want to scare you, so... <laughs> we'll chat once so i literally have been looking all crusty dusty all day today i just threw on some earrings to like make myself look a little bit better and i'm gonna lay some edges because we're just doing a quick run we're not gonna be out you know all day we're just gonna go to ikea get what we need and call it a night i think my husband wants to get shake shack so probably gonna get that i don't know if i'm gonna get shake shack honestly but we will see my hair is on like day 55 because i was originally gonna go to the hair salon on sunday which was yesterday but we had to we ended up having to reschedule for wednesday which kind of worked out because i wanted to film a video on how i like prep my hair for before getting highlights so it kind of worked out anyway so that i can film that tomorrow so in the meantime my hair is holding on for dear life there's literally no curl definition we're just rocking a struggle bun for the next couple of days that's why i'm like i don't want to be on camera so i'm like déjame peinarme aunque sea un poquito so that i don't you know scare you guys but but I'm so excited with the progress we've been making in such a little bit of time. I'm literally really impressed with how quickly we were able to maneuver things and clear out the hallway and stuff. So we were literally on a mission. We're like, we need to finish this today. Well, me, I was pushing for it. I was like, we need to finish this today because I haven't done Vlogmas like day uh, 12 and 13. So I'm already behind. So yeah, so I will see you guys in either Ikea or when we come back and I'll show you guys what we got. Okay guys, so I did not end this vlog. Like, of course, that's very typical of me I don't end vlogs so I have to sit here and do an intro and an outro but I'm gonna show you guys the final review of the room what it looks like up to date I don't really think I have much changes to do in this room anymore I think pretty much everything has a set spot I both love the way it turned out I'm just obsessed with it and I never want to leave the room I literally have a hard time getting out of bed because I sleep so well I'm very grateful that we even had an extra room to you know make that change so yeah so after Ikea we made the changes we put up the shelves i didn't record any of that because we did it kind of spontaneously welcome to my world i like to do things very spontaneously i don't plan things out a lot of the times and that low-key gets my husband mad because he he likes to like have three days to think about and process what we're gonna do and i'm just like babe let's do this and he's just like really so that's just something about me the more i vlog the more you guys get to know me i am very spontaneous and when i think of something i feel like i have to get it done right then and there so we ended up putting up the shelves and then after that i kind of just took over and decorated and did everything everything the way I thought would look nice and I did use the pieces that were already in the house you know we didn't really buy much pieces I don't think let's go to the room let's go I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like all right guys
guys so this is what it looks like when you first walk in I'm gonna give you guys just a quick overview I gave you guys a sneak peek in the other video so you guys will definitely be seeing that if you saw my previous vlog but we do have a special guest Mio he wanted to be in the video and show you guys the bed that he loves to be in his new little thing to do is biting on my tray and it literally drives me insane because he literally shreds it to pieces Mio what are you doing nasty boy so he gets on the bed by jumping on this little thing and if the doors open you'll just find him here just chewing away stop it no we caught you absolutely not he's grumpy he's tired it's his bedtime clearly are you chasing your tail <laughs> So in the beginning, I definitely struggled to figure out how we can put the TV stand, the bed, and also have some kind of additional seating space. As you guys saw, the big couch was way too bulky, so that didn't work out. So I turned this into an accent chair, which was, I feel like, the best decision ever. And I think it's like the coolest thing I ever did. I don't know why. I think it's so cool, but it's so cool. <laughs> And then this shelf. So let me just give you guys an overview starting from here. So obviously this is the bed. Same exact bed frame that we had from Ikea. I will try to tell you guys where everything is from. I guess so you can have an idea, I guess. And uh, we'll try to ignore Mio as much as possible. <laughs> so yeah, bed is from Ikea. I love this bed. I had it when I was living with my parents. It's the first like official big girl bed that I bought myself. So I definitely kept it and I'm obsessed with it. Pillowcases are from Amazon. I can link that below for you guys if you guys like it. I went for a very bohemian slash neutral vibe for this room you guys will definitely obviously see that i don't really like color that much to be honest i just like a pop of green so this center sign here is literally my favorite this one was actually in the living room but because we have christmas decor this one was temporarily in the store and i thought it would look really nice in this space i had this wall kind of empty for a little bit i didn't really know what would look nice here guys mira like mira me tu ta lucio tu te esta pasando de contento no I guess I'm gonna have to hold him. So this sign, I love it. Very suiting, obviously, for us is our bed. So I thought it was really cute here. And then, of course, my latest obsession, hello, curtain light. I got these from HomeSense. You can also find them at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Just look for curtain lights. These are the extra large one. And then moving on to this side, I have here our engagement photo, which I think I did show you guys that we have put here from day one. I put this cute little Christmas tree to be in the Christmas vibes and stuff like that. So that's on this side. I did did go with curtains I was telling you guys I was gonna go with blinds but blinds obviously was not gonna look right in the room I don't know what I was thinking but I don't really like blinds like that I think curtains look a little bit more modern so I put these curtains here that, I, that we found at Ikea I'm obsessed with them they're beautiful and they match the aesthetic moving on to this side we also found this plant at Ikea and it was only 50 bucks 50 or 40 bucks something crazy cheap which for this height this is like six feet for this height is very very much so affordable so I put this plant in the corner because I think it looks nice. I like this one better than the other one. The other one, I don't know. I think this space needed something a little airy, especially since I also put curtain lights on this side. Having a, a plant that's a little bit more airy and not as full allows you to be able to see the curtain lights from the back. And then I ended up putting these little two shelves that were from our other room. I put them up here with the same decor. I just think it looks kind of cute there. I don't know. I honestly put it there because I didn't know where else to put it and I love them so I wanted to use it. And then I put these little bohemian stuff type of hanging things I honestly don't even know what to call this but we had extra of these and I thought it would be really pretty to fit in this space moving on to this side right here this is the ladder I was telling you guys about I love this ladder so much it's so beautiful I actually just moved this from the other room and the other room I'm gonna be decorating with different decor and then here pillowcases are also from Amazon we have two throw blankets because why not the more the merrier the more the cozy or you're gonna be I actually got this stool because I thought it was much smaller because I wanted to put like a little stool to put here so when you're on here maybe you can kick your feet up but the space is not that big so I guess that would have been overdoing it but I did find this really cute side table from Target in case you're sitting here and you're drinking on a coffee tea or even water you can just place it down here I put the little flower here of course for decor because of the little basket I thought it was so cute and definitely very fitting for the space and then here again just some Christmas cheer so I put this thing right here from the other room oh i forgot to tell you guys i found this basket at home sense of course that is my store most of these things were from home sense that i've bought in over time so yeah that is this corner literally my favorite space of the room i just think it's so beautiful cozy especially at night this in here is my husband's closet it's actually really clean but that's his stuff so i'm not gonna show you guys <laughs> 
But moving on to here, this is the shelves that I was telling you guys about that we found at Ikea that day that we put up. Believe it or not, it was definitely challenging to align these shelves evenly. They're not horrible, but it was definitely a challenge to put up. So this little globe I actually recently got from Marshalls.com and I honestly think it's so beautiful. Look how pretty it is, like the detail. I don't know, I just love that it's on a tripod. It was super cute. And then these were from Marshalls. These are actually planters. The little horsey from Marshalls too. And then just a little plant over here. This is the only space that's just temporary. I have to figure out what decor will look nice. I definitely want to get some books and I want to add some books here too because this is supposed to be like a little reading nook. So I do want to add like some books and stuff, but I think decorating with books is also really nice so I want to have some really nice staple books to put up here and then moving on to the tv stand and the nightstand this is kind of what I ended up coming up with I love pampas grass <laughs> I can't say that so I'm gonna answer it I love pampas grass so I did get a second set to put on this side and I think it looks so beautiful I love the mixture of pampas grass and greenery I think it's just so beautiful and inviting so I did put one on each side and then I already had this basket from my patio furniture that I had in the patio but obviously it's winter so all of the furniture from the patio I just used it to put it inside I took out the greenery and put in these bambas grass which are honestly my favorite nightstands are from Ikea and so is the TV stand and then under the TV stand I don't really have anything just this book that I got from Marshalls and it's called gathering I'm actually excited to read it because not only does it look pretty but it looks like it's gonna be a really interesting book and then this weekend at Marshalls I found the book uh, the five love languages which I absolutely love and I highly recommend for everyone to read it or listen to the podcast or the audiobook my husband and I listen to the audiobook because I'm not that big of a reader I should be but I prefer audiobooks so we listened to the audiobook and it was honestly amazing and allowed us to really understand each other a little bit better and kind of strengthen our relationship so I thought it was really nice to have the physical book in case we want to read it one day my favorite candle at the moment well one of them because I love candles this one's really good butter pecan waffles and this one is also really nice Sunday morning so yeah that's pretty much it honestly I don't think I missed anything oh I forgot the mirror this mirror right here is from Wayfair you guys get to see the curtain lights which is honestly my favorite thing let me turn off the lights I mean, are you kidding me, guys? Look at how cozy the room looks at night. I literally love it so much. Oh my God, I wanna go to sleep now. <laughs> This is so stinking cute. And that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoy videos like this, I'm always changing something. I'm always doing something. I'm always DIYing something. Leave me a comment down below so that I know, so that I can always include you guys. If you guys watch the entire video, comment the little house emoji. That way I know that you're a real one and you didn't skip the video and you watched till the end. So let me know if you guys like this style of video. I hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.